Hey guys, welcome back to Jill's Comfort Zone. I truly hope that you've been enjoying all of my wonderful uh, recipes and food videos that I've been making from my home to bring to your home. So I hope you have been enjoying and I have been surely having a great time sharing with you of how I get down in Jill's comfort zone. So anyway, so please, please, please don't forget to like share this video with your friends and family so they can come and enjoy some tasty meals that i am bringing to you and also don't forget to comment down below and tell me how you think i did with this video and what you think that i can do differently give me some tips on doing something differently with this pumpkin or with the pumpkin seed so tonight we're going to be making cajun herb pumpkin seeds we're going to roast these in the oven also, as I told you before, I am creating my uh, new website, Jill's Comfort Zone. A food blog is going to be on there and much more. So I am no longer updating my old Jill's Comfort Zone uh, blog on bloggers, but you can still check out my recipes that's on there. And I will be switching all those over to my new blog once I get it all set up. So stay tuned for that website. I would definitely give you a heads up when it is going to shoot. So, well, launch, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get started getting this baby cut open. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I need those subscribers, guys, so I can move on up and be able to bring more food to you in your home. So please, please subscribe and hit that bell down below there so you can stay um, tuned to when I'm coming to a new video from me to you. So I'll be right back so we can get started on this wonderful pumpkin. So stay tuned. Hey, this is rough. So I started cutting around. Ooh, ooh, exercise. Look, this is like good hand exercise, guys. This is rough trying to cut this this pumpkin off. And um, <laughs> oh god, I, as I remember, pump doing pumpkin carving with my girls. I don't remember this being this rough. You know what I'm saying? Well, the pumpkins were smaller. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, can I? Like, I want to be able to pull the top off. And this is giving me. Ooh. Woo. And here's the brain. All right. Oh, my. Look at that. Okay. So... Oh my gosh. Watch how many seeds we're going to get out of this. I don't know. <laughs> this is the yucky part. I'm going to take my ring off here and um, go roll my sleeves up. <laughs> yeah. And um, I don't know. Start getting this cookie stuff out, huh? So you just, this is like. So we want to get all these seeds out, mm. and then I'll get it cleaned up. But good lord, this is a big pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I plant some of these seeds when I grow my own pumpkin. What y'all think? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What's your but, thoughts on growing pumpkins, guys? I don't know. But this is. Yeah, I can see why they say you can't cook with this. This don't even look eatable. Yeah, it's very... Dry. Yeah, it's not moist. It's really dry, guys. And, um... It's more like pulp, kind of. <laughs> you know, like when you peel an orange and... I don't even get, think it's like that. Get this all this, is dry. Get all the stringy bits out the, from the outside of it. I don't know, but I'm going to pull these pumpkin stuff off, and I'm going to have Jazzy clean them off. <laughs> That's fine. 
Cause I'm like, hmm. You get quite a bit though. Yeah. Get quite a bit. We just wanna make sure we get all of it though. So I'm gonna just pull all this stuff up out of here. And then stay tuned. Guys, I'll be back to, um, ooh. The last one. I'm always losing one or something, right? You know, this is serious though. But um, yeah, I can see why I couldn't cook with this. This is dry. Um, yeah, I don't like pumpkin anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, I like pumpkin seeds. That's about it. I don't want no pumpkin spice coffee. I want no pumpkin spice tea, but I'll eat all the pumpkin seeds I can get. Nothing against pumpkin spice. It's all right, but some people are too obsessed with it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'll be back after Jazzy get these cleaned off. We're going to scrape this out and then trash this baby because ain't nothing we could do. Look at that. A big old waste of pumpkin. Um, in I thought it was going to be really full. I'm oh, sorry. A big old wakes of pumpkin and I mean you buy all pay all this money for these big pumpkins and oh well it's all about the kids I guess you know decorating for Halloween but anyway what you were saying you thought it was gonna be a lot more inside well you don't remember carving pumpkins it's always hollow it was a long time ago <laughs> yeah but uh, we never had a big one like this though I guess. yeah so I don't know anyway Anyway, I'll be back and show you some pumpkin seeds. I'm going to preheat my hus uh, husband. Yeah, Lord, send me a husband. <laughs> I'm going to preheat my oven um, to 350 degrees. Um, and then we're going to get these babies baked. So stay tuned. While, when I come back, I will show you um, once these are all cleaned up. How we're gonna get these seasoned up with some oil and different seasonings. So I'll be right back. So I'm back. Jazzy then rinsed off our pumpkin seeds. I'm getting some sea salted water boiling over here um, so that I can just, I'm gonna boil these for about five minutes and then I'm gonna remove them, dry them off and then I'm gonna get to seasoning. I'm gonna cook these down over here. So I have, so I have some uh, virgin coconut oil. Um, I have some sea salt, um, peppercorn medley, some Cajun seasoning, my herb de Provence, um, and some garlic. Uh, powder. So I'm going to mix these together and toss them around in a bowl. Um, toss it around in a bowl once these are dry to get them coated. And I'm going to mix them all up in this um, coconut oil. And so then I'm going to throw these baby. I'm going to line them I'm on some parchment paper. I got the oven preheated to 350. And then I am going to line them up on some parchment paper on a, a large um, baking sheet and then we're going to roast these for about I think 15-20 minutes so yeah we're going to have some Cajun um, pumpkin seeds, Cajun seasoning pumpkin seeds so I'll be right back uh, to show you how this all comes together All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So these are dried off. I boiled them in some salted water <clears throat> just so that the salt can seed in them a little bit throughout. So that's why they look like that. And so now I have my seasoning together. Um, You remember all the seasoning I mentioned before. I learned this trick from Darius Cooks to wet the a little bit splash a little water on the cookie sheet and to get this to stay down because you know the parchment paper always rolling all over the place so I'm like oh okay great trick because Lord fell handicapped here's a little bit of 
um, coconut oil that I had melted down, so I'm going to coat this a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and get these seasonings on here and toss, give them a toss for a bit. Get them nice and coated, you know. Ooh, that pepper. Serious. Bless you. Thank you. Woo! The pepper is um strong up in here. <laughs> All right, so getting these babies nice and coated, all married together here. Really want them to season. I didn't put too much uh, sea salt on these. You know, I ain't looking for that kind of filling. So we're gonna spread these all about here on this parchment paper. Make sure you separate them so each little seed can roast up nicely in the oven. Said so I'm a Leave them in the oven for about 30 minutes. So just until they're nice and crispy. And then you're just going around like so. Just want to make sure that it's just single spaced out. All right. So I'm going to continue on spreading these on this sheet. Making sure they're nice and spread out. Stay tuned for the final results of our roasted pumpkin seeds. And I'm looking for a good time to munch and watch some Lifetime. You know, they got all that good, good Christmas and Thanksgiving stories on TV. So I'm going to do that and munch up. It's Saturday night, y'all. I'll be in the kitchen cooking for y'all tomorrow. So stay tuned. I am cooking up something new in the kitchen. Not something new. So stay tuned, you guys. I will let you fill you in on what's to stay tuned for tomorrow. Tonight is tuna sandwiches. That's what we're doing tonight. It's Saturday. Oh, you know, just relaxing. So I'll be right back, y'all. Hey guys, I'm back, I'm back, and the pumpkin seeds are ready, and um, yes, they are done and ready, I'm going to try one of these, they hot, you try one, look, so, sorry, <laughs> I'm just going to buy it now. You hear the crunch? Oh my. Mm -hmm. You know how you just eat them, eat the shell? Mm. Crack on open. It's not salty. Mm. You see the inside is still good. And everything. So there you go. Pumpkin seeds, guys. Hey, thanks for coming on by. <laughs> All right, I'm just joking. Don't forget, my new website is coming to you soon. I'm working hard and um, furious on it. I did, I, I'm new to the whole web creating things so I've been using um I guess I the gator is my host and um I've been using wet press 
So you know that can be a little difficult and um, challenging. You know what I mean? So um, stick with me. I'll be coming to you soon. I'm working really hard on it, guys. And um, thanks for coming by Jill's Comfort Zone. I always, 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 always love it coming from my kitchen to your social media. So I thank Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for um, watching my uh, YouTube cooking videos. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying you and making it for you. And also, please, please, don't forget to subscribe to my cooking channel. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your whoever can log on. Tell them to subscribe to Jill's Comfort Zone. And don't forget to like, share, and comment down below. Let me know how do you make your pumpkin seeds and what's your techniques and what do you do different. Do you boil yours first or you just... Wash them off and throw them in the oven. I always love chatting with you guys. I always love to hear um, people who have tried and true recipes and um, coming from my home to yours. And so thank you again for joining me as always. Stay tuned for jillscomfortzone.com. It will be food blogs on there. Lots of fun things to do. And, um, and stay tuned for what's to come so i have more in store for you so stay tuned and also i will be stay tuned for my next video i will be making zucchini zoodles instead of noodles it's zoodles <laughs> and so i'll be doing that with a nice veggie stir fry and i'll have that coming to you probably tomorrow never know might be tonight but i doubt it <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. As I always say, stay blessed. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>